What's up guys, Heat King here bringing you some uh, news on the latest for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Before I begin, please remember to like and subscribe, thank you very much. And we shall get started on some new news that's just been confirmed. Uh, first up, Resident Evil 4 producer says Remake uh, is now in the final spurt of development. Uh, this article I've got here just pretty much rinse and repeat in everything this guy is just saying in that one line. It's in its final spurt of development. But uh, let's just read through this very quickly. Resident Evil 4 remake producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, sorry for the pronunciation there, has shared that the title is now in the final stages of its development. Capcom's Hayara Bayashi has also added that the team behind the highly anticipated remake is working hard to deliver the game on its targeted release date, which is currently March 24th, 2023. Japanese website uh, Famitsu recently published its annual end-of-year interviews featuring a number of game developers sharing their plans regarding for the next year. The spotlight includes Capcom veteran uh, Yoshiaki Hayao, um, blah blah blah, who has previously served as a producer in multiple remake projects including Resident Evil and Resident Evil 2. Uh, now, at the helm, a shared development process of the remake is near completion. This means that the game's March 24th release date is looking likely and that no, delay, delay, no delays are expected by the studio. The producer also shared that they will share more content from the anticipated title as they get closer to the launch. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it's pretty much it's pretty much he's just pretty much rinse and repeat in everything. Say you know wait a bit longer, you know etc etc. Uh, the game is in its final stages of completion, which pretty much means that the overall base game is done. This would include bonus modes and um, you know elements added to the game like uh, bonus modes. <laughs> This means that they're obviously putting the finishing touches on it, which includes fixing any bugs and glitches, etc., etc., and making everything, making sure everything runs smoothly when the game comes out. I, I always feel like uh, when it comes to Japanese games, they are pretty much, they pretty much feel complete for the most part. You're a player and you won't really run into a lot of issues with it compared to Western games, where it's like you'll find tons of glitches or the game will feel incomplete. So, you know, when it comes to Japanese games, it's like you, you can you, you can expect at least 95% of the time you can expect a full completed product, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I've got high hopes for this. i got high hopes for this being a very good game. Uh, but that's not the main news. No, the main news isn't that this game is coming out in like, in the, in, you know, very quickly. It's going to meet its release date. We, we already knew this. We already knew this. We already know from, from, the fact, from previous titles that every time it reaches like the last month or two, you know, they're in the final, they always say they're in the final stages of finishing the game up. So, no, that's not the main news. The main news is regarding content that a lot of people were worried was going to be cut. Um, from a Twitter, from a Twitter account, uh, including from, a, ma mainly from Dos Gollum who confirmed this after reading the actual uh, interview where they went a bit more depth talking about certain things. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake Director uh, Yoshiaki uh, Hayar Bayashi. Now, this is interesting. It says here that he's the director for this, not the pro not the producer. So, either this is a mistranslation or the article I just read was a mistranslation. And maybe he's a producer and director for both of this game. But has confirmed that the game will feature the village, the castle, and the island. So, this is the first time where we get confirmation that the island is going to be included in the game. A lot of worries were that the island was going to get scrapped. Now, to be fair, that is that is understandable. I mean, you look at you look at what M two did with Resident Evil Three Remake and how Capcom allowed them to get away with changing and cutting so much from the original game. It, it you know it, it made a lot of fans wary and nervous, like what is going to get cut from the final version for RE Four Remake. And you know the assumption was the island was going to go, but since the uh, gameplay uh, reveal. We, we found out from people who played the game, you know, first previews, who played the first 20 minutes, they did confirm that Krauser does appear in, in the intro of the game. So that made it pretty sort of obvious that maybe the island was going to be kept as well. I mean, that, that's Krauser's whole big element in that game. And, you know, the, that's where it comes into the story, unless they change it up and they were going to move it to the castle. Or they were going to give us a, a nest free, if you will. Uh, but no, that's not the case. The island is in there. That's pretty much confirmed. Um... It, uh, you know, uh, this reply from Arkley Mountains on Twitter, uh, uh, you know, it goes on to, we took a, we took a, I think it's a translation as well from the interview. We took a hundred individual small elements that make up the original gameplay experience and remade and polished those building blocks. Uh, Hayara Bayashi concluded by saying, yes, the remake is very much the sum of many parts. 
Uh, continuing on from his interview, Hayao Bayashi also stated that the aiming and moving of the character will be improved compared to the original extract below. Um, I'm sure there was more because they did they did go into detail about talking about how they have like a hundred people working on each part of the game separately so you have like you have a team that's working on the village segment you have a team that's working on the castle segment and then you have a team working on the island segment and then at the end they, they all came together to revise and make sure that the tone and the gameplay all fit all those three elements all those three areas together better do you know what I mean so uh yeah yeah um trying to see if the actual unless it's in here yeah, so yeah, it's actually written in this little article part here. Um, the team was... Wow, this is this is very small. The team was divided into independent subgroups, each given a different area to develop. The village, the castle, the island. These teams worked separately before their work was brought together to see how each overhauled element worked with the others to create a hostilic experience. Our approach was quite grumbler, uh, Hayarabashi explains. Uh, rather than ex uh, saying, oh, this is a bit that we struggled to make in the original due to technological limitations that we can now perfect, we took a hundred individual small elements that make up the original gameplay experience and remade and polished those building blocks. That might be the controls, the moving and aiming, the lighting of each scene. Every single individual element has been considered. Yes, this remake is very much the sum of many parts, uh, concludes. While attempting to remain true to the original game's strength, the team has certainly not shielded away from identifying uh, its weaknesses, or at least pinpointing those areas most in need of a contemporary overhaul. I discussed with the director, uh, Yashurio Apu. Ah, so he's the director, okay. Um, I'm so confused, maybe he's co-directing, cool where we could improve things like the aiming, the movement of the character, the things that become barriers to entry for those new to how modern games play. Uh, this is still a game about managing resources. Ammunition is limited. In every face-off, you must decide whether to spare a bullet or make a heel launch with a knife. And the sense of a... Yeah, my camera cut off there for a second, so sorry. Um, I discussed with the director, explains, and this is still a game about many... Okay, but every... Okay. Uh, and the sense of frustration when you miss a headshot is as keen as it was in 2005, but everything feels smoothed and com uh, comptoprised. Com 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 uh, aiming down the sights is no longer slow and twitchy. When it comes to missed shots or ammo uh, overspends, there is no longer any doubt as to where the fault lies. The fundamental beats of Resident Evil 4's uh, Sherlocky B-movie storyline or American Hero visits home a primitive non-English speaking farm folk to rescue President's daughter, codenamed Baby Eagle, uh, are unlikely to change, but the team has uh, evidently been eager to update the way in which that story is delivered. Leon brings a certain kind of wit to the experience. Har 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 but, oh my god, I can't say his name. We've developed the character drama, specifically the interactions between characters and their personalities. The original game was more gamey in that sense. Story scenes were mostly there to serve the pacing of the gameplay. Single player story games have developed since then, so it's been important to integrate the story element, storyline elements. We've tried to make sure that this remake feels like a thoroughly modern story based single player experience in that sense. Naturally, working on a game that is so beloved and which many consider to be the apex of the series has been has not been without its pressures. Yes, expectations are high. Uh, uh, Hi 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 Harabayashi say says, we feel a great deal of uh, apparent to see how our work goes down, but we have tried to have fun as we work on the game too. This has been important to create the kind of atmosphere to help dispel the tension. Uh, likewise, Resident Evil 4 is a game strongly associated with its widely admired original director, Shinji Mikami, whose absence on the project has at times been felt nearly. It would have been nice to have him still around to run things by amidst, but on the other hand, the team features many individuals who work closely with Mikami, as well as director uh, Yasuryu uh, Apu, Jen Tukunukshi has worked as executive producer, while Kenzo Norari Ken Kendo, who worked on the original Resident Evil, the famously... He famously became the first member of, of the staff to complete the game using only a knife, has provided additional oversight. So while I miss Mikami, uh, Haru Bayashi says we have so many veterans working on the team that I'm sure that we'll be able to get on, get by without him. So yeah, very enthusiastic. These guys really care what they're doing apparently. And they put a lot of thought into how they want to make this game. The very fact that they decided to split certain teams to work on individual uh, parts of the campaign 
uh, give, well, at least in my opinion, feels like means we'll get very distinct tones and atmosphere with each environment. That said, I do hope that this game in particular has a very horror focused approach. Um, the village part, in my opinion, is the best segment of the entire game from the original game. So to have that expanded and improved uh, is great to, to read. But also I'm hoping, and this is pretty obvious as well, uh, the castle and the island are most likely going to be very much heavily revamped. But the way it sounds here, it's like they're going to try and keep a lot of the elements in there or at least change it about to make the pacing or the gameplay a bit better. Uh, and I imagine a lot of elements will be cut because uh, even here when he talks about the story and how they've revamped that, how they've changed that, how they've modernized that. Uh, in the original game, a lot of the story was just sort of, like he said, beats to get to the flow of the gameplay. With this, I feel like their attempt is to make something that makes more sense in terms of the story instead of random things being shoved into the game for the sake of gameplay. So I can see a lot of elements that were there for the sake of gameplay being cut and maybe replaced with something that makes more sense for the tone and story of this game. So yeah, I can't wait for that. Um, I'm just very curious what is going to be removed, what is going to be changed. Um, the island for me is not one of the worst parts of the game, but it's not one of the best either, but it does have a lot of my memorable moments. It, um, the Krauser knife and boss fight, the laser room, um, I think, I think those are the only parts I remember that I really enjoyed. The regenerators, of course, obviously, but then you have moments like the, the helicopter segment, uh, the whole beginning part of the game when you find waves of enemies and you're trying to get through the facility, uh, the entire part where Ashley's driving the big truck uh, and you're f shooting off enemies. It's, a, uh, you know, some of those are nice set pieces, but at the same time, it, it, it gears towards action, especially when you have like a, a, an, a mini boss called, you know, the JJ mini boss with the Gatling gun. Those are things I could see getting cut. Same with the castle. I can see them cutting up the turret section, for example, or, or removing some of the filler, like uh, like the uh, lava room. Or maybe they'll change up elements. Like, like I said, uh, I, I do feel like uh, the, the Salazar statue, for example, is going to be kept, but it's going to be change maybe turn into a boss fight maybe um may maybe they'll take certain a a areas and uh, enemies and they'll combine it so you know maybe instead of fighting ill giants in the uh lava room you're fighting a different enemy maybe you fight the giant uh, salazar statue instead like i don't know there's a lot of things they can do to change it up but uh i'm curious to see what the final game is going to be I am excited for this. Uh, Resident Evil 4 for me is one of the best games I've ever played, but it's for me it's also one of the worst Resident Evil titles because of how detached its plot is from the main series. And with some of the early stuff that we heard and read, they did make it clear that they want this game to feel more like a mainline title. They want this game to tie into previous Resident Evil games to give it that feeling of continuity a bit more. So yeah, I'm just curious how this is all gonna come together, how it's all gonna fit together. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Anyway, that's the video for that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. And bye.